Get ready to match the star, George Kennedy, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, from Barnaby Jones, Lee Merriweather, Richard Dawson, and from the Betty White Show, Betty White, as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 77. And now, here's the star of Match Game 77, You all look beautiful. Thank you. Are you ready for fun and games? Yes, sir. Yes. What you have in mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's do the show first. Okay, let's welcome our two players, David Zive and Isabel Smith. Now, this fellow here is our current champ. He won one game, and he went all the way, won the maximum amount one could win in a game here. So he has a total of $5,600, and that's made David very happy. Now he's being challenged by Isabel Smith. You've had your uh, both questions, haven't you? And you've matched one. <laughs> I'm you're, delighted to be back. Well, we're glad to have you back. You're kind of hoping that he's going to fall on his blank here so that you can... Because well, he's really in the catbird seat. All he has to do is match one to tie and two to win. Well, Isabel, we'll see how it goes right after we see about this. Here we go. Now, this is the last question in this game. David, remember, one to tie and two to win. And everyone will play. When Dumb Donald went out west, he couldn't find a buckboard. Oh. So... He tried to cross the prairie on a blank board. <laughs> this is a gooder, I think. I think it's good. Dumb down out west, he couldn't find a buckboard, so he tried to cross the prairie on a blank board. Here we go, David. This uh, dumb Donald fella, he went out west, you see, and he couldn't find a buckboard. So he tried to cross the prairie on a blank board. Skateboard. Skateboard, okay. <laughs> now he needs one of those to tie and two to win. George. I didn't want them to ask any hard ones today because I've got my stupid... Oh, good for you. Good for you. Can I at this moment? One more skateboard will win another game for I Shorty didn't... over there. I didn't want them to ask any easy ones because I've got my smart head on today. I said surf. A surfboard. <laughs> now to cross the prairie on a surfboard. Okay. I'm sorry, Isabel, dear. Skateboard. Skateboard wins the game. Yeah. Okay. You may go to your appointed place, sir, and I'll say goodbye to Isabel Smith. We will have some gifts for you as a souvenir of your appearance here on Match Game 77. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you. I had fun. Good. Isabel Smith, there she goes. David? Hello, David. Where are you? Listen, I want to tell you something. Now, you've won your second game here. You think you're pretty tough. We got a stagehand here who is really strong and powerful and tough. Oh. Joe Guybe, where are you? Joe, would you come out here just for a second here and show what a... Come here, run out here, Joe. Come here. Stand up to him, Joe. Now, listen. If you get difficult... If you become obstreperous, I'm going to get Joe Guybe after you. So just watch yourself, okay? Thank you, Joe. All right, hang in there now. Yeah. That's the long and the short of it, isn't it now? All right, you're going to have a go at the big money now again, Dave. Not too long ago, we polled a studio audience in this very building, and we said, write down your best answer to this. Terry Blank. Now, the answer they gave us most often, remember, gets you $500 if you match it. And then for matching the second most popular answer, you get $250. And $100 for matching the third most popular answer. And three of the six are allowed to help. George. George Kennedy. What do you say to that? Terry Cloth. Terry Cloth. You got one more. Richard. 
How about my old friend from England, Terry Thomas? Right. Terry Thomas. I have two. Betty. Terry and the Pirates. Okay, you have three now. I think you got three good ones. There may be more good ones, and you might even have a better idea. But those are the three. Terry Cloth, Terry Thomas, and Terry and the Pirates. You want one of those? Terry Cloth. You want Terry Cloth? I take it some of you think he made the incorrect decision. No? You think he made the right decision? All right, we'll find out right now. May we see the $100 Terry response? Moore. Terry Thomas is Richard's answer. We want Terry Cloth. Let's go up the ladder and look at the $250 response. Terry and the Pirates is Betty's answer. Well, we go. I think it's a good omen here, David. All right, may we see the big one? Yeah! yeah. Say, yeah, David's okay here. He picked the right one right off the bat. Now you're up to $6,200, and you're going to play for 10 times the amount you just won, or $5,000. And we'll give you the money if you'll match one celebrity exactly. Richard. Okay, here we go. Stand on the blue dot, and I'll get the $5,000 question. And good luck to you. Here it is. Coast blank. That's C-O-A-S-T blank. Coast blank. Coast Blank. Now, David, he's made up his mind, you make up yours. And if you're in tune, you get $5,000. Coast Blank. Whew, that's a hard one. Coast Pacific. What's that? Coast Pacific. As in Pacific Coast. As in Pacific Coast. <laughs> Never works. I'm going to get Joe back out here and kick you in the knee. <laughs> All right, he said I Coast... there were two good ones, and I, I didn't know which one to go. Coast Federal Savings, which is a local thing here. Right. But then I said Coastline. Coastline. <laughs> you were thinking of Coastline, but you oh, said Coast Pacific, Guard. didn't you? Coast to Coast, another good one? Coast Guard, Coast Guard I think. I would have said Coast Guard, yeah. You had Guard, too. Well, David, you can't win them all. You've got $6,200. You've only won one so far. Let's meet another player right now. Here comes Peggy Hester. We welcome you. Let's find out who Peggy Hester is and where she lives and anything else she wants to throw in. Well, right now, Peggy Hester's extremely nervous. Really? <laughs> yes. Hold my hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't you feel calm? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> How do you feel, Jane? I feel... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting excited and nervous now. There. Where are you from, Peg? Well, I'm from Woodland Hills, out in the San Fernando Valley. Yeah. And <laughs> Pretty place. Oh, that's nice. And I'm a student going to California State University, Northridge, majoring right. in dietetics. Dietetics? Uh -huh. That's interesting. You look healthy. Doesn't she look healthy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and what else uh, you want to say? Well, that's about it. That's it. You're I, majoring in dietetics. Uh huh. Okay. Well, are you going to calm down right now? Yes. Okay. <gasps> Take a deep breath. <gasps> that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start this game right after we do a little business with America. Hurry back. Here we go. Now. Peggy, you have a choice here. You may have A or B. I'll take B, please. B. It's healthier, right? <laughs> 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 yes. Harvey said, now that my wife went to medical school, <laughs> now that my wife went to medical school, she's just full of surprises. Last night, she gave me a blank. <laughs> oh, I wish I was playing. <laughs> you do, huh? Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> My, now my wife went to medical school. Now that my wife went to medical school, she's just full of surprises. Last you night she gave this? a blank. No. Can you say this? <laughs> Could she change her school? <laughs> oh, I love that answer. I wish I could use it. So terrific. It's such a wonderful answer. She gave me a blank, huh? Right. Okay. Lord here is ready. I have no answer, so I'll put this. Okay. Have you been thinking about it, Peggy? Mm -hmm. All right. 
This is a perfect question for you. It's in, in your general field of uh, dietetics. Harvey said, now that my wife went to medical school, she's just full of surprises. Last night, she gave me a blank. A cadaver? A cadaver? <laughs> Dear me, that would be a surprise, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't think we have that much of a surprise in mind, Peggy. Why? Over my dead body. Over your dead body. Haven't changed the Okay. <laughs> What'd you say, George? I didn't have a cadaver, and this isn't what I wanted to say. She gave me a physical. A physical examination. All right. Now, this is not the answer I had in mind, but <laughs> it may be a little strange, but I think you'll find it mildly interesting. I said she gave me a baby. She gave me a baby. <laughs> Oh, isn't so that it's interesting? It's complicated, isn't yes, it? Yes, right. It's, no, it's very simple. I'll write a note. Okay. Not a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather massively disturbed. I said a high blood pressure examination. A high blood pressure examination. Okay, she checked his high blood pressure. Yeah. Peggy is looking for a cadaver. Lee, what do you say? <coughs> We've been going steadily downhill. I think she gave him a bedpan. A bedpan. <laughs> Uh, stay on her for a moment, uh, no, uh, because no, no, she's turning a bright shade of purple. <laughs> okay, now you can go to Richard. She's... <laughs> My wife just full of surprises. She's gone to medical school. Last night she gave me a. You're <laughs> <laughs> still staring at me. Yeah. Well, you're still on camera, you see. Uh, he does. He doesn't talk unless the camera's on. Hmm. He has this sixth sense to know when the camera's on him. Sick. The sixth old sense. bedpan gag, eh? Yes. <laughs> Well, as opposed to a check down, she gave him a check up. A check up. <laughs> yeah, check down, doctor. Yes. She gave him such a shot. Such a shot. <laughs> well, you had a lot of things there. Shots and bedpans and all kinds of things. You ready, Dave? Ready. Here it is. The Lord spake <laughs> unto Jonah. Jonah. <laughs> Jonah. Jonah. <laughs> I have good news and bad news. The good news is if you're getting some company inside that whale. The bad news is if I'm sending blank. You've thought it over carefully? Yes. Okay. Jonah, I have good news and bad news. The good news is if you're getting some company inside that whale. The bad news is if I'm sending blank. Pinocchio. Pinocchio? His <laughs> the Lord would like to know why you said Pinocchio. Uh, I thought he'd make a great. I thought he'd make a great rescuer. A great rescuer. Right. You thought he would rescue Jonah. Very interesting. <laughs> I yeah. thought it might be his wife. Sending your wife. Joan and his wife. They set up housekeeping inside the spleen. Everything was neat. Inside the what? <laughs> Wherever they okay. were. I said Betty White of the Mrs. Allen Ludden show. Or is it Mrs. <laughs> Allen Ludden of the Betty White show? Who knows? What did you say? I said the Toity Bowl Man. The Toity Bowl Man. <laughs> <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. Okay, Lee. Bad news is if I am sending... Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> that would be bad, bad news. news, right? I was going to say the bad news is I'm sending a bedpan, but I thought that's really <laughs> yes. silly. So I said Howard Cosell. Yeah. 
<laughs> that would be the same as Jaws, wouldn't it? <laughs> what do you say, Betty? I say I don't think it was in very good taste or very funny. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> he sent Brett Summers. <laughs> Well, the Lord giveth and the Lord, Lord knows we're never going to finish this game, I tell you that. We got a match pair here, but we'll try right after this. Are you ready to carry on, or would you like to play the game? <laughs> Let's go to the second and final round. Peggy, you may have A or B. B again, please. B, the healthy one. So healthy, I'm going to eat the question after we do it. Hey, did you hear about the wrestler called the Naval Destroyer? Uh-uh. A wrestler called the Naval Destroyer. He destroys your navel by sticking a blank in it. <laughs> He's a wrestler. A wrestler. A wrestler. A wrestler. A wrestler. Called the Naval Destroyer. He destroys your navel by sticking a blank in it. Gotcha. See? He's in the Navy, you see. I see. I understand. Naval Destroyer. Right. Naval Destroyer's in the Navy. Well, yeah, he was... I, I, they dubbed him that. He might have been in the Navy. Oh, That's, they just called it that. Yeah. He didn't necessarily but have to you be see, a sailor. see, Destroyer is a type of ship they have in the Navy. They call them Naval Destroyers. Sure. It's a little... Uh, I have to explain everything. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I'm going to stand here for the whole no, show. Have you got a new lighting guy. director today? It's nice and bright here. Brighter than it's ever... I must look so young in this light... Right in this spot here, you see here, a little over here. Are you ready there? Okay, Peggy. Hey, did you hear about the wrestler called the Naval Destroyer? No, I didn't. Well, I'd like to tell you about him. He destroys your navel by sticking a blank in it. Oh, that's a toughie. The neutron bomb? <laughs> she may set a new record. <laughs> A neutron bomb. I want to see you. Now you look at these weirdos over here, Peggy, and you tell me that you expect any one of them to say neutron bomb? Is that what you are telling this jury? Yes, George. No, I don't have neutron bomb. I have battleship. Battleship. Okay, two people like that. Battle and ship. Yes. That runs a close second. <laughs> yeah, to neutron bomb. I said a big ugly fist. A big ugly fist. <laughs> Destroys your navel by sticking a big ugly fist in it, okay? Sure. Charles? I said a depth charge, Gene. Depth charge would be good. <laughs> little naval parlance there. Naval technology and weapons. Lee Merriweather, yes. Mine has nothing to do with the Navy at all, except that uh, being a wrestler, and then I went off on another tangent, Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot. No, but a big foot. He destroys I... your navel by sticking a big foot in it. Yes, a, yes. you know. Yes. And so that, far, that's a fist. we've had five perfectly dreadful answers. I know. You know the neutron bomb which we're spending billions on, they use that so that that leaves the buildings intact and gets, rid, right. gets rid of the people, is that right? Uh, no, it, yes it does, yeah. right, exactly. We already have that, it's called property tax. Yes. <laughs> right. You're right. I don't think we need the bomb. We can do without it. You're right. But being an old naval man, I said a torpedo. Torpedo. <laughs> Good one, right? Hello there. No ship, a torpedo. Right. Okay. Now, David, this is the second time. All you've had to do is match one or more to win, uh, one or two to win. All you got to do is match one this time. The sideshow barker shouted, hurry, 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 step right up and see the man who blanks gasoline. <laughs> step right up here and see this man who blanks gasoline. A most amazing feat, my friends. You will never see anything like this in your lifetime, and it only costs a quarter to see this man who blanks gasoline. Hurry, 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 we are running out of time. The program is almost over. I am not saying hurry, hurry, hurry as the barker. I am saying hurry, there you go. All right, here we go, David Zive. Hurry, 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 he said. Step right up and see the man who blanks gasoline. What do you say to that, David Zive? Drinks. He drinks gasoline. What do you say to that, George? If you, if you can't get anything else, you might. Right there. 
And we'll say goodbye to Peggy Hester. Good luck to you in your career in dietetics, Peggy. It was Thank a pleasure you. to meet you. We'll have some gifts coming your way. Goodbye to Peggy Hester. Hello to these messages for you. You were all just splendid, which is far more than adequate. I'm Gene Raver, and join us tomorrow for Match Game 77. Goodbye. Why do you think it was making that beeping sound? I have a question. Which of these professions would your wife say is most characteristic of your approach to lovemaking? Would she say you're an animal trainer, an explorer, or a skilled technician? <laughs>